Miranda July is amazing. She's got several films that are adored by critics. Not only is she a really good filmmaker, but she has a style like no one else. Like literally, no one else. Her films are weird. But they're weird with a purpose, and I wanted to share my two favorite Miranda July directed movies because I really love these two. Warning, this video is going to be really short because I didn't love Kajillionaire. It was okay for me. And also, these movies are really weird, so if you hate them, I get it. But if you love them, I also get it because I love them as well. So here they are. Okay, this is the shortest film on the list. Like, it's really short. Like, it's 10 minutes. But it really packs a punch in its message about how society currently communicates. It's basically like an episode of Black Mirror, but sacrificed the tragedy and cynicism for satire. The film is about a social app called Somebody, and I won't even tell you how the app works because I feel like if I tell you, it'll take away from the surprise factor of its cleverness. But all I'll say is this app is kooky, and it doesn't seem too far away from some of the apps we use today. And I think that's what makes it so clever and impactful in such a short amount of time. There's this theme music that plays throughout the film at every hilarious and emotional moment and it sounds so beautiful. It's simple but it really shines. I think the moment with the two twinning girls is my least favorite scene. I prefer the awkward subtle humor from Miranda July's films rather than the rambunctious in your face delivery but overall it's great. It's funny, it's obscure, it's reflective, it's thoughtful and it's only 10 minutes so I highly recommend seeing it. When this movie started, I was like, okay, this will likely be my least favorite, but once I got about half an hour in, I realized I loved the entire thing. The budget on this film is tiny, which is quite obvious when you look at it, but it doesn't need a budget. This might sound weird, but I think the film's impact is enhanced by the lack of budget because of how grounded and human it is. The structure is like dazed and confused or ladybird. There's no direct plot or main antagonist or final objective. We just get to kick back and enjoy watching these characters live. We follow like eight characters who are all simply living their own story and many of them are totally unrelated to each other. But throughout the film, we get to see people's stories intertwine, and when these characters intertwine, it brings out a whole new side to them. A lot of the moments on the surface seem like they have no purpose, but they all really do, and they provide so much context for each other when characters collide. It's a very awkward movie, lots of silence between scenes, but this awkwardness makes it feel so grounded in reality that you feel like you're a part of the community. For example, when people flirt, it's not super clever, they aren't super quick, not everyone has a comeback, but that's what real flirting can be like when your life has so much uncertainty. Flirting can be a really awkward thing, especially when one person really likes the other. I do have to warn you, there are some scenes that will probably make you cringe just because of the subject matter, but the way they are handled is freaking hilarious. The film does get extremely obscure and goofy and satirical, but it also very thoughtfully covers themes around family, failure, public image, and the fear of the uncertainty of your own life. And this makes it really memorable. The movie is super touching with an excellent cast, beautiful beautiful music and little moments that speak volumes. I love it. So what are your favorite kooky weird films? Please let me know in the comments. I would love to discuss. And if you want to see more of these ranking best movie type videos, click the playlist in the top right. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon.